the afternoon of the 26th of May 1964, Jawaharlal Nehru returned from Dehradun to Tirumurthy, the Prime Minister's official residence, after a three-day break. He went to bed early, but woke up several times during the night in pain. Next day, on the 27th morning, Nehru suffered a heart attack and died at 1:44 p.m. The light has gone out of our lives. Nehru had said in an extempo speech on the All India Radio after Mahatma Gandhi's death in 1948. It was darkness at noon when Jawahar, India's first prime minister, died. With his death, the last member of the triumvirate of the freedom movement was gone. The other two Gandhi and Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel had departed soon after independence. Nehru's death left a void that none could fill. The question who after Nehru was often discussed in political circles as his health deteriorated, but none had clear-cut answers. Nehru had never given any hint about his successor, nor had he groomed anyone for the job. As such the succession battle began practically while Nehru's body was placed in the foyer of Teen Murthy. The suspense ended on the 9th of June when Lal Bahadur Shastri was sworn in as the prime minister. In the 17 years of his leadership Nehru transformed India from a broken country riven by communal frenzy and traumatized by the partition. into a thriving democracy he laid the foundation of a nation that was unique among the post colonial states on his death india was still home to the largest number of poor and illiterate people in the world but it had come far nehru's vision and his commitment to nation building based on secularism socialism and democracy had put india on the road to emerge as a country with the largest pool of scientists engineers and doctors under nehru india had mastered the frontiers of science from nuclear technology to rocket science in less than 2 decades with none in his party of his stature to share his great responsibilities nehru had a lot on his plate for at least 3 full terms between 1951-52 and 54-55 he headed the congress as its president as a widely respected statesman he was a moral force behind movements in asian and african countries struggling to gain freedom from colonial rule He was instrumental in fashioning the principles of the non-aligned movement. All this predictably exacted a heavy toll on Nehru's health. But what shocked him most was the betrayal of China. He had worked hard to make China an ally to advance the cause of underdeveloped countries and unitedly stand against the exploitative world capitalist system. China's attack on India in 1962 and the defeat in the war shattered him and his health on 8th january 1964 nehru was in bhuvaneshwar for the annual session of the congress as he rose to speak nehru suffered a mild stroke and collapsed on stage shastri who had resigned as a minister under the kamraj plan was recalled to the cabinet as a minister without portfolio to share some of nehru's responsibilities Less than 5 months later on the 27th of May after a short break in Dehradun the end came at home in the afternoon for Jawaharlal Nehru The Times of India noted in its coverage of his death that the first reaction of people everywhere was of complete disbelief but soon they were overwhelmed by the benumbing reality National flags were lowered and shops pulled down their shutters friends critics indians world leaders all grieved nehru's death kashmiri politician sheikh abdullah a comrade of nehru for many years was one of the many who couldn't stop weeping 
Atal Bihari Vajpayee, then a Rajya Sabha member, said, a dream has been shattered, a song silenced, a flame has vanished in the infinite. It was a dream of a world without fear and without hunger. Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev described Nehru as a great man of intellect and a big heart who gave all his energy to the cause of peace. President Charles de Gaulle of France called Nehru a statesman who profoundly marked the destiny of India and consequently that of the world. Former Prime Minister Clement Attlee of the United Kingdom said Nehru might be regarded as a doyen of world statesmen. Prime Minister Nehru was laid to rest on the 28th of May and his body was cremated in Rajkhat in Delhi on the banks of the Yamuna River, just 300 yards north of the spot where Mahatma Gandhi was cremated. Almost 3 million people lined up the route as the gun carriage that carried Nehru's body passed. India and the world mourned the passing of a great man.